says 6 by 6 by 6 by 6 by 6 can also be written as 6 to the power of 5. In other words, there are 5 6's multiplied together. 5 is called the power, or the index, of 6. Plural of index is indices. 6 is known as the base. Six by six equals six to the power of two, also known as six squared. Six by six by six equals six to the power of three, also known as six cubed. Now we will look at the rules for multiplying and dividing indices. For multiplication, the rule is when multiplying numbers with the same base, add the powers. So if we look at 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4, we keep the same base and add the powers. So 3 and 4 gives us 7. So we get 2 to the power of 7. To show how this rule works, we will break down the 2 power of 3 and 2 to the power of 4 into its separate parts. Two to the power of 3 gives us 2 by 2 by 2. And this is to be multiplied by 2 to the power of 4, which is 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. So in all this gives us 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 which equals 2 to the power of 7. For division of indices we have a similar rule. When dividing numbers with the same base subtract the powers. For this example we'll use 2 to the power of 6 divided by 2 to the power of 4. As these have the same base, we can just subtract the powers. In this case, the powers are 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 gives us 2, so our answer is 2 to the power of 2. Again, when we separate the terms down into their separate parts, we can see how this formula works. So we begin by 2 by 2 by 2, by 2, by 2, by 2, which is 2 to the power of 6, to be divided by 2, by 2, by 2, by 2, which is 2 to the power of 4. This can be broken down as follows. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once. 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 2 goes once. And this leaves us with 2 to the power of 